Okay guys, today I'll be doing a What's in My Bat Bag IRL video, and if y'all are new, drop a big fat like on that like button, and subscribe please, I'm trying to break 100 subscribers. So, we're going on down here into the clothing compartment. Okay boys, let me just sit y'all up, right here, hopefully y'all can see me really good. How about that? Okay. So first off, we got the Mizuno warm-up shirt. Hashtag Mizuno. Go subscribe to their YouTube channel. Okay. So I have this. Then I have my Atlanta Braves towel. Shout out to the Atlanta Braves. They've been a great organization. Clinching the East two years in a row, so please go subscribe to them and follow them on Instagram. I like good stuff. Hashtag braids. Okay. So let's get into the bats. So I got the East and Ghost X Evolution with the great lizard skin American flag. And I've got me some pine tar on here. And by the way, at the very end of the video, I will be putting more pine tar on my bat. So as y'all can see, the Eastern Ghost X Evolution. So that's my middle bat. Next off, we got my Louisville Slugger. Um, the Youth Maple. Um, uh, whatever his name is, Christian Yellow Tradition. Got the uh, Plate Crate hashtag Plate Crate. Go subscribe to them. Go get your yourself a play crate for your own so just like yeah go do that as y'all can see like i've hit a lot with this bat so probably need to get me a new one which i'll probably will be getting the albert pool horse edition marucci so come back for the next video when i get that so then i got pine tar the um uh the tiger stick pine tar which i've got in a plastic bag so it don't get everything on my bat bag sticky. So there we go. And at the very end of the video, I will be doing a putting pine tar on my bat, like I said earlier. And I got the pine tar towel right here. I mean, it works pretty good, but I would prefer the tiger stick. So next off, we have the Easton Ghost X. It came with my bat. Donut. So you can it you don't have to buy the bat to get it. Like you can go to Dick Sporting Goods and buy that. And yeah, and it's a 18 ounce and it's 18 ounce point eight. So pretty heavy donut. Next off we have the Franklin Mookie Bets Gold Edition. So I mean I like these bat and gloves pretty good. As y'all can see, the gold on them, it's pretty lit. So, yeah, those, and they're white out. They're white out gold. So, if y'all want to go buy some, y'all better. Because they're selling out quick. Next, I have the Bandit Sports Pro Hitter. See, I have two of these because Play Crate sent me two. And they did not mean to, but... Oh, let me keep them. So that's lit. So shout out to Ben Sports and shout out to Playcraft once again. And we got the In the Bat Donuts, which Playcraft sent me two of those. And these are made by Ben Sports too. Go get your own gear by Ben Sports. Hashtag Ben Sports. So yep. Next thing we got, we got us some extra grip and case my back grip. Comes off during the game, I can just whip this thing open and put some new on. So it's always good to have this. And also made by Plate Crate with Bandit Sports. So hashtag them. So then we got this little strip of lizard skin. Like I said, you can just put it on your bed at any time. If some of it's coming off, just whip this thing out and you can just put it on there. So I'll have that. Hashtag loser skin. So then getting into accessories. So I got the black Evo Shield arm sleeve 
This is not the protector arm guard. This is the arm sleeve arm guard, which it does not have a, as you can see, it's real floppy. And it don't have the protector in there. Unlike this one, which is my gamer most of the time, it's not like floppy. It has a hard shell inside. So that protects my arms. Hashtag Evo Shield. So since I'm already talking about Evo Shield, why well, just not bring up the Evo Shield shin guard? This is a gray shin guard. Like, as you can see, I just got to unbuckle it, put it on there, just like that, strap it in, and strap it in, and I'm ready to go. So, yep, there we go. And I got me a Mizuno Atlanta Braves wristband. So most of the time, I'll put this on like, when it's supposed to wear like this, I'll wear it up here because I will either have my red or black one right here. So, yup. And I did have an Evo Shield arm guard, but I outgrew it. So then, let's get into throwing material. So I have this stretch band, which is supposed to loosen out your muscles and all that stuff while you're stretching and that stuff like, you can do a mechanism like, like that with it. You can just do anything. You can do some leg workouts with it. So I have that. And since we're already on protective stuff, well, most of it was. This is my Easton Elite Youth helmet. This is what it looks like. It also has the jaw guard attached to it, which this is my old team symbol. So if y'all were wondering if it came with that, it doesn't. So if you just want the Eastern symbol, you can get that. Okay. So, as we can see, I got some more banded sports. Training, hitting with walls. These are not to like play out in the yard with, to like play some with ball games with. You can go buy those at the store. These are for baseball practice, for like hitting with a little two bat. Okay, so then I just have, I found this bracelet that says play ball in there that I got from South Haven, Mississippi that I went to a um, Disney Dream World Series at. So yes, then it's got me a OG ball, you have to have that. Okay, so one of the last but not least, my... Mizuno mitt. This is a pretty nice mitt. It's good and broke in. As you can see, it's really floppy. Which, that's what my coach has told me. He don't like that about my glove. So we've been saving up to get me an A2000, which we've almost got it. So, yeah. Come back for the next one. So, my older glove, my first glove, is this Wilson A550. See, I don't really like this because I had Dick Sporting Goods steam it, and as you can see, like it fold, like it molded like this. But like on my other one, it molded to my hand before it got like all worn down and stuff. But this one, when it got steamed, it's got its own shape, and I did not like that. So don't get your gloves steamed. And once again, Bandit Sports flat glove. Okay. This is perfect for just warming up in the field, taking some ground balls, working on your hand transfer, your hand glow transfer. So yeah, have that. And um, okay. So okay guys, now we are going to get into pine tar and up my bat. Okay, so first of all, I need my bat and I need my pine tar. So, I'm going to get this pine tar out. Okay, perfect. If y'all want to, y'all need to have about that much peeled out. So, you don't put the whole thing on, but you don't put, like, not much. So, first thing we do is we take my bat. I prefer to put it right here on my thigh, so I just rub it on there. And you're going to have to put some force into it because it won't come off. And 
yes, I'm in love with Pine Tar. But I am a cheater, and I don't use it in the field. So, y'all can be in love with Pine Tar, but just don't use it on the field. So then, I'm going to get a little bit messy. I'm going to have to tap it around, and my hands will get really sticky. But this is so it don't cake up on there. So when I tap it around, it gets all flat and stuff. So, that should be just about good. So then, we have my bat pine tar. Well, just drop my pine tar. So, well, that's how you do that. So, thank you guys for watching. And hope you guys will come back for more. I will be posting some more baseball IRL videos. So, yeah. I just hope y'all enjoyed this um, week's video. And see y'all next week. Here, not next week. I'll do it right now. And see y'all next week.